Now, this is going to be focusing on present perfect. And at, at the end, we're going to try to practice as much as possible. All right. Now, remember the goal for this unit is to complete your forum. And that forum is due on Monday the latest. So if you haven't done so already, make sure you get started. Now, this unit focuses on modals and the present perfect. We looked at modals last class. So today we'll look at present perfect continuous and some prepositions. And we'll compare present perfect continuous with present perfect normal, All right? So let's, let's take a peek and let's see if you remember how to use the present perfect and how to differentiate when to use the perfect or the continuous perfect. All right, so here we go. We're gonna be looking at these prepositions of time. Before we dive into the prepositions of time, let's look at when we use present perfect continuous. All right, let me see who is in. Let me make sure everyone has been given access. I think everybody's in. Good. All right, and I'll use I'll use the participants list so we can go through. So form, how do we make the present perfect? Well, it is a little bit complex. We need two verbs to work together. The first verb is the verb to have, All right? So it's telling us the state of things. And then we're going to use that helping verb to tell the time. In this case, it's going to be in present. So we're going to leave it in present form. And then our action verb, the one that's telling us the idea, is going to be in two forms, the be in perfect form and the action in ing form, all right? So this is going to be our auxiliary form. And then our verbs are going to be in ing because it's present, perfect, continuous, all right? Structure-wise, I think it's really easy to remember. The only um, difficult part is to Remember the he, she, and it. Otherwise, have been or has been. And then you choose your correct verbs and they don't change. Negative form, you have the negative plus your have or has and the verbs stay the same. Question form, also pretty simple. Start with have, then the subject, your verb to be and ing. Just like all other continuous forms, we have the verb to be with the ing. But when do we use it? All right, let's look at when and let's practice some examples. Edwin, help me there. When do we use the present perfect continuous? Hi, teacher. Hey. We use the present perfect continuous when we want to express the sense of. Uh, Continuity. Continuity. Motion. Continuity of a nation mm -hmm. that's begun in the past and which continues in the present or which has you to finish it. Good. We use continue. Okay. We use we use it to refer to something that we have been doing over a period of a period. Of time and therefore we use the preposition of time for and since. Since. All right. Now remember, I told you guys this unit we're going to be focusing on for and since. So let's jump right over to for and since. When does the for and since work with the present perfect continuous? Well, let's take a look. Yes. Pregunta, Nadia. Uh, hay una compañera en sala de espera. Sí, 
estoy dejando de entrar nada más que su internet estaba lento. Creo que sí ya está adentro. All right. Now four. Four tells us a period of time. So we use for, since, ago. All of these are time expressions, but specifically for and since that help us to answer the how long question. For tells us a period of time. And since tells us the starting point. All right. For example, I have been teaching at UNAM for seven years. For seven years. That's the period of time. And since the starting point would be 2015, I have been teaching at UNAM since 2015, right? So those are our words. Now we're gonna focus on the use in continuous form. So let's go back to our examples. And this time, Karina, let's see if your micro microphone works with here. Help me with the examples for present perfect continuous. Karina. Yes. I can believe it is it the start raining. It's been rain for a week now. Good. John, mm -hmm. John has been working at the back since uh, 2003. 2003. <laughs> Uh, we be uh, been flying on vacation for over a month. Amanda and Tom have been dating since last June. Mm -hmm. um, he has he hasn't been studying in in no enjoy no enough enough. Okay, enough. enough. Um, have you been feeling okay lately? lately? Mm -hmm. um, I've be been working too much. All right. Still can't believe it's been raining. Planning. Be careful with your pronunciation. But these are some examples. Let's get some more examples from Erindira. Let's look at some more examples for when we can use since and for. First, since, Erindira. Mm, your microphone is really, really bad. All right. Let me read these ones. And then, Anagali, you'll read the next ones. I have lived in Spain since... April 2010, my brother has been sick since Friday. Anagali, next one. Yes, teacher. They have been studying English science last year. Since last year? Right. Since. Since. Since last year. Mm -hmm. Yes. We have been waiting for you since three, three o'clock. Three o'clock. Good. All right. And let's look at some more examples for four. Let me let, okay, Lilian's internet is really, really bad. She's jumping in and out. Um, Andrea Altamirano. We always run for at least one hour every day. Either. Jump down to the last, to the last one. Uh, he has been studying English for a long time. Jane had only been working at the factory for three months when it's closed. Right. I notice four can be a little bit more flexible. It's not only with present perfect continuous. Since is usually with present perfect continuous or present perfect. All right. Now, we were looking at present perfect, and now we're seeing present perfect continuous. What's the difference? Well, let's play a little game, guys. Let's see if you remember present perfect and if you can choose correctly. I think we have more than enough clues. So let's dive in, All right? 
we're going to be looking at simple past or the present perfect, the present perfect or the present perfect continuous, using it for questions, making the verb its past participle form, and spotting mistakes. All right. So let's practice. Let's see if you are really getting the hang of of things. All right, so let's start from the bottom this time. We always start from the top of the list. Let's go to the bottom of the list. Jimena Villasana, choose a category and then tell me how much so we can do some practice. Um, present continuous. Mm -hmm. mm. Which one? Past simple or present perfect and present continuous? First present one? perfect. Okay. For 100, 200, 300, 400, or um, 100. For 100. All right. Use the present perfect in this sentence. So the present perfect or the present perfect continuous? Which one? Let me give you some clues. You're going to you're going to use your verb have and you're going to need past participle. How would you make this sentence? How long have been a doctor? All right, you're missing one thing. How long have you been a doctor? All right, one more time. How long have you been a doctor? All right. How long have you been? All right, let's keep going. Avila, you just joined, but you're gonna get to practice right away. Viridiana, choose a category. Uh, see, teacher, I am. 200. Same category for 200. Okay. Present perfect again. Same thing. You're going to need your have and the verb grew in past participle. How would you make this sentence? Um, growing. All right, past participle is different. Remember past participle is the third form. Have grown. Okay. Okay. All right, so one more time. Since the since 2000, the popularity of Apple phones has grown tremendously. Repeat. Science has grown. All right, from the top, since 2000. Since 2000, the popularity of phones has grown. Tremendously. Don't forget the last descriptive word. 
All right, your microphone is breaking up a little bit. All right, let's keep going. Vanessa, choose a category. Yes, teacher. Mm. Simple, past, or present continuous, eh, 1,000. 100. <laughs> Ay, perdón, 100. All right, past continuous. Let's see if you remember the past continuous. Uh, during years of Carl study, scientists exposed some of the urine looking rocks to rocks to ultraviolet light. All right. During years of careful study, scientists is plural were exposed. All right. And then they got the ing. We're exposing. All right, repeat. During years of Carl study, signs were exposing some or ordinary looking rock to your ultraviolet light. Good. All right. Let's continue with Selene. Simple past or present continuous 200. All right, future continuous, will and the continuous form. Uh, he will cut. All right, don't forget all the continuous forms have the verb to be. He will he be. be. Calling. Mm -hmm. calling. For, the, for the continuous form. Yes, one more time. He will be calling. He will be calling several times today to figure out, mm -hmm. his, out, out the, his, uh, the issue. Issue. Good. Nadia? Uh, yes, teacher. Uh, past participle 100. Past participle, good. How do you change this to past participle, the third form? Um, I think you muted your microphone again. Told. Told. All right. For example, I have told you many times to practice your verbs. All right. Let's do a few more. Venegas. Choose a category and tell us the amount. Yes, which category and which amount? Single bus. Okay. The three. 300, all right, yes. past continuous. He was starting. Mm -hmm. In 1997, he was starting his own company. All right, good, all right, so guys, I'm going to send you this so you can practice all the different forms. Now let's jump back to present perfect continuous. Let's do one activity from there. And let's do one activity from since and 
four. All right, and then vaccination time for teacher. All right, so here we go. Let's do let's do this one. So you have the the options there. Let's continue with Karen Baron. Yes, teacher. All right. How would you make a present perfect continuous sentence with these words that you have here? Is how you? How long? That's your question word. Living. How long have you been living here? One more time. How long have you been living here? How okay. long have you been living here? Good. All right. Vanya, number two. They have, they have been watching to TV lately. Too much TV. Too much TV lately. Good. One more time. They have been watching too much TV lately. Repeat. They have been watching too much TV lately. Good. All right. Christopher, number three. Yes. Why you been? Why you? No. Why have you been mm -hmm. wearing my jacket? Perfect. Good. All right. One more time. Why have you been wearing my jacket? One more time. Why have you been wearing my jacket? Good. All right. Adeli, number four. Yes, teacher. Go ahead, give it a try. Yeah, we, we heard you, but there was a big old echo, all right? So probably you should just write it in the chat. Write number four in the chat, and then let's continue with Fabiola. All right. It um, has been. Mm -hmm. It has been um, raining. Mm -hmm. um, for three days. Good. One more time. It has been raining for three days. It has been raining for three days. Good. It's straight. Uh-huh, straight. It's straight. Good. All right, Arely, you want to try again? Yeah, teacher. Um, Number four. I have been, mm -hmm. I have been since working. All right, remember I? Is your subject have then been then ing? I have been. I have been working since, since seven since seven. I'm <laughs> a.m. Yeah. One more time. I have been working since seven a.m. I have been working since seven a.m. Good. 
Diana. Number six. Um, sería he hasn't um, been studying in chess All right, be careful. In, in no days. All right, be careful. The enough comes before. He hasn't been studying. Good use of the negative form. Enough, or it's another way of saying sufficient these days. All right, repeat. He hasn't been studying enough these days. He hasn't been studying and no test days. These days. All right, let's continue with Daniela Fernanda. Yes, very low, but yes. All right. You have been eating too much. Again. All right. And then Daniela Castro. See, teacher. Is it have been learning birds? How many you have been learning? Learning birds. Learning verbs. Mm -hmm. Two weeks. For two weeks. Good. All right. What about since, All right? If it's ago, I'll, I'll slip it in. We use ago for the simple past. So if it's simple past, then we use ago. If it's continuous, present perfect, we use since for the starting point and for, for duration, All right? So Carolina, number one. Carolina there. All right, I, I think I see a hand raised. Who's that? All right, Fabi, go ahead, Fabi. Uh, we have been working since eight o'clock this morning. All right, yes, but just be careful with the pronunciation. Since. Since. Mm -hmm. All right, let's keep going. Emiliano, number two. Yes, teacher. They played football for three hours yesterday afternoon. Nice. Number three, Aurora. Mm, Neil has been sleeping four hours. All right. Andy Altima, Al, Altamirano. I learned to try 15 years ago. Nice, past, simple, good job. Anna Gali. Number five. 
Yes, the children have been studying since this morning. Good. Since? Since this morning. Since, yes. Okay. Erendira. Six. My parent went to New York City two years ago. Perfect. Karina, number seven. So start. Go ahead, Emilia, Emiliano. Mm, I have been tired since last week. Mm -hmm. And Edwin, number eight. She always talk on the, the phone for hours with her sister. For hours. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So what are we going to do next? We want you to make sure that you finish up these units and create your folders and share that with me. If you have questions, don't feel shy. Make sure you ask. And I've already set up a forum activity for you. All right. So this is to do an email. I see a lot of you have already jumped in and um, I see some, some work there. So I'll jump in and give you some scores later on. And if you have questions, just let me know. I'm going to run up to the stadium now to get my vaccine, um, but I still should be fine. So if you have questions or if you send emails, I'll respond to you as quickly as possible. See you guys next Saturday. Stay safe and keep on practicing. Next Tuesday, we start unit two, okay? All the best, bye-bye.